We just can't get enough Undertale ca Oh? Hi. Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There is nothing left to worry about. Except you. No. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, greetings, everybody. We're back with um, Undertale and the first part of my true genocide run or attempt. Um, I was not expecting this because um, the last time I played the game was with, um, you know, Joel on that p true pacifist stream. Um, I got the, the end text. We you know, turned off the game and that was it. And now I just want to, you know, play it again, do the true genocide, and this happens, it freaking continues! It's... Wow. Let's go. Well, there is one thing, one last threat, one being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone has worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. I'm talking about you. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline. And sent back before all this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power... I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use. But now, the idea of resetting everything, I... I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. Their life. But, if I can't change your mind, you do end up erasing everything. You have to erase my memories too. I'm sorry. You've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later, Crimps. Oh? Oh, don't make me do this! Don't make me feel so trashy for reset- oh. Okay. Oh. Now I'm feeling bad for restarting everything and doing the tr- This is just- Fucking perfect. Okay, let me explain something here. So, Sweetie Candy was here re very recently. I mean, too recently. And she has left, and now I'm all alone, and I'm sad. So, what better way to cope with that than by just killing all my friends? And not only that, now there's another layer. I need to erase everything, all the happy ending, just erase it, and then just fucking murder them. I am the bad guy here. And that's what this game is doing to me. I am the bad guy. I am the one who takes away their happiness and their their dreams and... I'm just resetting it to just murder everything. Wow, I... I'm not sure if I can do this. I mean, as you all know, hopefully by now, I love this game. I love the characters, I love the universe, I love everything about it. And this game is just so deep with, you know, this, just resetting the game from the beginning is a part of the game and the universe. I have the power and that is canon. Wait a second, didn't Flowey say Crims? Oh, nobody's here. True reset. Mm. whoop the fucking do Wait a second, I need to... I need to... Well, take this in. He said... It's up to me, blah blah... And then he said Crims. He didn't say Crims as if I was Crims, did he? Because I'm not Crims. Crims is the, the human that fell down in that opening cutscene. And we are playing as Frisk. I don't know what's going on here, but... Sure. Well, why is everything so freaking... There's, there's no sound for the beats. This is new. This is very new. There were trees here before, and that was not a circle. Well, this game. Uh, continue. 
I don't think we want to do that. No, it's just uh, the throne room. Before the happy ending. So we're gonna do a true reset. <sighs> alright, alright. Just gonna make sure I'm recording. Everything is working fine. Great, let's uh, start the series. <laughs> Here we go. Name the fallen human. His name... Shit, no, 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 no. His name is freaking Frisk. No, it's not. But let's go with that. Warning, this name will make your lifestyle hell. Proceed anyway. Um, no. Okay, so what the Derpy told me was that if you name yourself Frisk, uh, the ruins will be extremely hard. And I'm gonna try that at some point. Uh, but for now, we're gonna just continue with uh, Grims. Or maybe... Someone else? Maybe Papyrus? No. Stop it! It's just fucking play this game! We're like seven minutes in and we still haven't done anything. Let's go. Yes, it is. Just assume that. Okay, so this is, if you don't know, my third playthrough of this game. I mean, as I said in the very beginning of this episode, we just can't get enough of Undertale, can we? This is the third playthrough in a row, and we're not gonna do a true genocide run, and I, I'm not sure if I can do this. I, I'm gonna kill everything. I mean, literally everything. <sighs> true reset. Hello, flowy ass real thing. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower, blah, blah, blah. Do we really want to do all this again? I mean, the voices and read it. I don't think there's a point to that. Because if you want me to read these texts and blind, just go to my first playthrough, which is, you know, a normal playthrough. Okay, let's see. Is anything different? Is this really a true reset, or does Flowey know anything? It starts off weak, but can go strong if you gain a lot of... Uh, level. Love. Level of execution. Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white uh, friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Nope! <laughs> hey, buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Nope. <laughs> is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! The friendless pellets. <laughs> I haven't seen this. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Ow. Oh. Shading! Freaking shader! What if I get hit here? I can't, alright. Hello, Toriel. Woo! And there she is. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toria, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this uh, place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You're the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. Oh, the music kind of reset in a way. Okie dokie! Oh, I need just to turn off all my feelings. Oh, shit. Do I want to... Oh, it's a true reset, so even my save file is gone. Well then! I'm filled with determination, let's do this, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I just, I think, um, unless they say anything new, I'm just gonna skip it, because I've, if I do their voices and, you know, get to know them, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, feel for them, I'm gonna care about them, and that's gonna make them, make it so much harder to murder. Splendid! I am a proud of you, little one. Blah, blah, blah. I am a proud. <laughs> <laughs> Human live hu blah blah blah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there won't be any fights uh, before this dummy, so I haven't missed anything. But uh, the thing is, I need to uh, kill everything. I need to go in a room and just kill all the monsters all the time until something happens. And uh, as I've said, this is blind. I've never done the true genocide. I don't know what will happen. I've just done a normal, regular playthrough. And I've done uh, uh, a true pacifist. So this is the third one. We don't want to hurt anyone, do we? Of course not. Okay, so this is how you move through the spikes. Can I talk to you? Nope. All right, here are the fights, go. Let's do it! Wow! That was the same sound as uh, Flowey made. Okay, so 
this plan I have, there is, as I've heard, uh, different genocides. There is the you know, like normal genocide where you just kill the, the big characters, and then there's the true genocide when you kill everything. And um, as if someone have told me, I will notice when something is different. Is there a puzzle in this room? I wonder if you can solve it. All oh, right. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna do what I am thinking here is going to be the fail-safe way of uh, getting the true genocide, which is just to go around in uh, every room, every single room I get to, just walk around and kill as much, just kill until nothing happens, you know, no more encounters. Uh, but it doesn't seem like we're getting any encounters in this room. And so, if I'm gonna do this, it might be boring, you know, every single room I'm gonna go around in a circle. Not uh, the most entertaining video, I would say. So, the way I'm gonna cope with that is to edit away boring parts. But now I'm explaining it, so... Yeah. So no more fights here, I guess. Alrighty then. This is the puzzle, let's go! Man, I kind of miss, um, you know, the, the innocence I had when I didn't know anything about this game in the universe. It, um, it's cute, it's cute how it has um, progressed for me. Everything. Can't believe I didn't play this game sooner. So, no encounters. Maybe the first battles are scripted? I don't know. Blah, 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 excellently. Let's uh, go away. Oh, I can't go back. That's new. So, lately, Overwatch came out. That was amazing. I've been playing it a lot. I believe I'm up in like 30 hours already in, in the course of one week. Yeah, about one week. So, that's nice. If you want to play with me, then just... Uh, just... You know, text, leave a comment, I don't know, just play Overwatch with me, I will be happy. But for now, we're gonna play Undertale. And just... You know, I'm, I'm really trying here to... Just kill my feelings, kill my... I don't know the English word for it, just kill my affection, I guess. I am just trying to kill my affection for all the characters, so it will be much easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done this like two times, there's no point. We're gonna get the candy! To get candy? How disgusting. Nice. You feel like the scum of the earth. Oh, oh, look at that, look at that. The candy spills. And we can't take it up. Look at what you've done. That's unfortunate. Oh, there's no frog yet! Oh, he stood here! Right? Oh, there he is. Oh, meow. Why is he making the same sound as Flowey? It's uh, weird. Alright then, so there's no enemies in here, I believe. I really hope I don't mess this up. Um, I've heard that the true genocide is uh, hard to get. Because you can easily miss something. Miss kill a, killing an enemy, and then you won't have a true genocide. Just one small mistake, and you won't have a true genocide. So I really gotta be careful here. Just kill everything playfully. Blah blah blah. I think it's just uh, genius how they did this. Because one after I did my first my first uh, playthrough. Um, and I pressed reset. I thought that that was a true reset. Like in any other game, you know, we play a game over again. It's like the first time. Or like, you know, some games have a new game plus and like next fear and stuff like that. But then you know it is not a true reset. But this game didn't have that. It just said reset. And now it finally said true reset. And I think it is. And what the, but that thing with the flower in the beginning, that was fun. I guess I didn't try that in the beginning. He, he did say, like, pick them up, and and I did, and I fell into his trap. But this time I knew what was going on, and I liked that he said that. Alright then, is this gonna be like... Oh shit, is this whole episode gonna be like that? Just killing frog it all the time? 
I sure hope uh, the true genocide isn't that annoying to get. I mean, you have to do this in every room. Spend like 15 minutes in every room. I don't really know if I want if I want to do that in commentary. But good thing though that this isn't a stream. That we can just um, oh wow that went fast. That we can just edit out the boring parts. But this is the first part, so I might not uh, cut it out because I want to talk. Because I'm alone, and this game makes me feel loved, even though I'm brutally murdering everything. But, um, you see, this is the way I'm looking at it. Um, I have what's called like the Crims Canon of what, how, how, what I did in this game, and that was the true pacifist in the end. That was it. Uh, this is like, I don't know what to say. I mean, uh, I mean, for me, the Canon ending is the true pacifist because I love the characters so much. Nice, our level of violence went up, how nice. But uh, if I remember correctly, when we did the true genocide, the true pacifist, is that uh, when we spared everything, we got more encounters because we didn't kill anything. And when we kill stuff, we will get less encounters. It just makes sense. I mean, for example, Frogit was here in uh, both of my uh, previous playthroughs. He was right here, I believe, and now he's not because I killed him. Poor Wimson. I wonder how many of them are. I mean, I mean, how many of them are there? Kind of curious about that. And that's what I really like. The monsters aren't just, you know, copy-paste uh, non-canon. Like in some games, if you go, like in Final Fantasy, if you go in an area and just keep on killing enemies, nothing will change. I mean, in the story, nothing will change at all. And in this game, it is canon that there are a certain number of enemies. Because they live here. I'm not noticing anything different! Alright, so I'm gonna do like two more battles. And we shall see if uh, anything different happens. If not, I will just continue doing this and edit away the part. And um, yeah. It's so fucking hot today! I mean, seriously, it's like 32 Celsius outside. And that's not in the sun, I mean, maybe. It's like 35, 36 in the sun right now. It's unbearable. But hey, I live in Sweden, so people in Spain and Egypt have it um, much worse, I believe. Of course. But, you know, here in uh, Viking land, we're not super used to the heat as of now, because we had a cold winter. And now it's the exact opposite. Hello, froggets! So cute. Now that's weird. Um, when enemies have lower health, they don't want to fight anymore. And that's why you do more damage in the story. But for some reason, I didn't do more damage now. So does that mean that Froggit still wanted to fight? I believe so. I really hope this leads somewhere, that I'm not just, you know, going on a loop here. Meow. What if I beat the whole game like this, the whole series without getting hit once? That would be insane. But it probably won't happen. We're gonna try to do it without dying. But that's gonna be quite easy, because we're gonna get so many levels. So our HP is gonna be very high, and our gold as well. So we can buy the best equipments and all that, and maybe even get the Tem armor. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. I mean, one way to get it pretty easily is just to keep on dying. And it will be very cheap or inexpensive. <laughs> but uh, I will not uh, die deliberately, if that's how you say it. Yeah. Or we can do what the Yoel showed me, which is, you know, farm money by buying the glasses and sell them at the, 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 the Tem shop. Uh, yes. Sorry for the rusty English, I haven't done commentary since the stream. 
Well, I have, kind of, but not Crim's commentary. So, yay, we're doing Crim's commentary. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I can't believe I haven't said that yet. I love you all so much. And I hope you enjoy me playing Undertale because fucking deal with it because I'm gonna play it a lot. I mean, this is the third playthrough. But uh, I think that after this two genocide, um, I'm gonna, you know, chill out with Undertale for this channel and in commentary. I mean, I've only played this game in commentary. It's that kind of special feeling towards this game. I can only play it in commentary because everything is blind. So it's gonna feel weird to play this game non-blind. But I kind of wish I did that in um, the true pacifist uh, ending. Because, yeah, if I was alone and just took everything in without speaking, I would most likely have got teary-eyed pretty heavily. I think so, I would. Yeah, we get a lot less encounters now. I think something is happening. But man, that, that really takes a long time to do this. Or maybe they count the whole of the whole ruins. Maybe not uh, just this room. I really hope so. I mean, in uh, the lore, I believe the monsters are going from room to room. They're moving about. I mean, why wouldn't they? So that's why we're getting so ma less encounters. We have killed everything in this area. And now we're just waiting for, you know, the other others to come into this room and encounter us. You see that? No more encounters. Awesome. Something is happening. <laughs> now let's see if we need to do this for every single room. I don't think you have to. I mean, that would be pretty bad game designing, in my opinion. I mean, if you want to get the true genocide ending, and if this is what this is what you have to do, then it's just boring. I don't think Toby Fox would have done that. But yeah. Um, oh, there we go. So it's just vastly less encounters. But still, we get it. So do I want to continue or not? That's the question. Well, shit. Um, I'm gonna continue. Yeah. Let's see, do we get the encounters here? I'm just gonna walk uh, forwards, but in circles. And just pressed everything everywhere. So we can find another secret, like the one in the hotel. That was pretty cool. Oof. It's kind of interesting how both of my top games right now is um, Overwatch and Undertale, over and under. Oh shit, I just pressed something. It doesn't really matter! Yes, yes, yes. Blah, blah, blah. What if I flirt with her and then kill her? Oh my god, I can't do that. I can't. Just be stone cold. Just keep it up. Anything here? Yeah, yes. Nope. Okay, I think it counts the whole of the ruins. And not just room of, of the room. Let's see, what's over here? Up, right to that one, read it. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Mm -mm. Whoa there! Yes, yes, yes. Just for you, pumpkin. And these episodes might be longer than usual. Because, you know, um, not much new is happening. I mean, so far nothing new at all has happened, except for... Except for Flowey, by dodging his bullets. That's the only thing that's uh, new. Um, I believe I will just... Um, let's see here. I guess we can do like 30 minute parts. It doesn't really matter. I mean, if you have a suggestion, please let me know in the comments how you would like these episodes to be. I'm thinking of doing one session per area. So we're gonna do one session now for the ruins. More froggits! And then another session for Snowden Forest. Uh, we should continue, um, actually, so we can get uh, a better weapon. We're gonna get the, the toy knife, which is at the, the balcony, kind of. Man, he was an old stoop! Oh, never mind, he died. <laughs> Let's see, how much do we have? We have 62 golds. 22 kills. 
It would be nice if um, there was a true genocide guide. I believe there is, I just don't want to look at it because of spoilers. Uh, but if there was a guide telling how many kills do you need before going tutorial. Because she is the, the end boss, or yeah, the end fight. What? Oh, that's new. Just determination. Huh. Now I'm getting kind of scared. <laughs> Stuff is changing. But yeah, basically, so you can see how, or, or so you can know how many kills you need. What? Oh, I see. He's afraid of me. Okay, so I'm thinking if this was like an anime or a movie, then I'm just going around here killing all the enemies. And so they're running away. Okay, wow, okay. <sighs> oh, my heart just, you know, skipped a beat, if that's how you say it. But nobody came. I can't move. What? What's with the music? Okay, this is extremely creepy. Uh... One of the things he said when you just ask? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm th yeah, I'm back to what I said. Wow. Okay, I think that was the key, the cue. Now I know that I'm done. Uh, so yeah, if this was an anime or something in a movie, I'm just going around killing all all the enemies, and then they're running away. And Absolute saw it, and he was you know ready for this. And now the other, you know, main characters, the bigger characters, you know, the whole of the whole of underground, the the news is spreading fast now. I believe. Uh, yes, we would like some healings, spiders. Nice. Uh, spider cider. Sure. A jug. Spider cider. Nice. Oh, okay. This is. Really putting me on edge here, no more frogs. But nobody came. Then why did that happen? I mean, in the lore, in the game, why do we get the monster encounter? Oh, there's a frog. It waves at you. <laughs> I mean, why are we getting encounters if we're not... Oh. I just realized that it has been so a while since I've came up. Okay, this is not new. Uh, company, there are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but uh, do not carry more than you need. Someday, uh, you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Okay, so Toriel doesn't know anything, as of now. Um, I'm thinking, do I want to do their voices for the new stuff or not? If I do their voices, it's just gonna increase my affection and make it that much harder to kill them. Or yeah. <coughs> more painful to kill them. Um, <coughs> you know what? We're gonna end this episode soon. <laughs> Nobody came. I mean, soon something is gonna happen. It's so fucking obvious! Is Vegetoid... No, he's not there. there. Equipment? We need that. Probably. Nice. Okay, so Vegetoid is not there. We need to kill him. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying that. All right. Well, now we don't have to worry about annoying encounters, right? <laughs> you know, changing the music like that was <clears throat> truly genius. Uh, nothing at all. Okay, I'm just checking. Because you never know what this game... No, okay. It seems like the, the monsters have fled the area. It's a switch. Yeah, there's no point. Oh, nothing. No. Hmm. Nope. Oh, wait. It's over here. Alright, well, if this is what happens in every area, then it won't be hard to know uh, when I'm done or not. Just keep on doing that until we get Nobody Came and we are ready to continue, I believe. I hope that. I hope so, because I don't want to mess up. I don't want to miss a tiny detail 
And that's just gonna cost me the whole true genocide ending. Uh, that will just be annoying. But I think the way I'm doing... Oh, that's... Is that new? I don't remember this. Yeah, yeah, sure. Now I forgot what I said. Oh, I, I'm back. It was a bloody trap. Uh, do we need to... Why do we get so many non-encounters? What the hell is going on? Uh, no, 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 don't do that. Okay, so this was the place. Um, we want to... Alright. Continue. Alright, here we go, boys. We're almost at Toriel's, you know, home. Nice, we need that. That's gonna help us out. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make a part once we reach the house. Oh, shit. I took longer than I thought it would. Uh, nothing new. Oh, <laughs> no, this is not new. Okay. How did you get here, my child? Oh, you hurt. <clears throat> Not a scratch, impressive, but still, I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Oh, small one. Ma oh, it's hard to do that voice. <laughs> uh, determination, whoopty fucking do. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Yes, I do smell that. It's about a Scotch cinnamon pie. Nice. Good shit. Yeah, we gotta make a part here! So I will see you next time, everybody. Thank you for... <laughs> Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.